Ahead of the summer travel season, new measures are being taken to decrease wait times in airport security lines. Many airports have seen lines that are so long, travelers have missed flights. And officials believe this summer could see record-breaking travel numbers. News to Kobe Thielen is at the Charleston International Airport with what travelers are doing to prepare for the summer rush. It's going to be brutal out there, Colby. Hey, good evening, Brendan. Well, compared to most international airports, the passengers that we talked to today said that they've never really had an issue with wait times here. In fact, you can see behind me that there's only a few people even in line right now, but they know that Charleston is now a vacation destination, and they fully expect for those wait times to increase as in the next few months. At airports big and small, summertime means more travelers and longer lines. Probably wait 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes to an hour sometimes. That's about the average wait time for Charleston, according to the TSA. And that's not bad, considering many airports have been experiencing two hours plus, and they expect the summertime to bring record numbers. It seems to increase pretty recently. Um, before in the past, it was kind of like you could just get through and you know, not have to worry about too much, but um, now you've got to kind of come prepared. That's a little bit longer than I'm used to. When we arrived here at 12.15 this afternoon, the line didn't appear to be that long. We spoke with some experienced travelers that say that's not always the case. Melissa Gosser and Kara McCune, moving their families through the airport can be a trip itself. It's organized chaos, like Orga you said. <laughs> <laughs> organized exactly. chaos and a lot of pre-planning. Yeah. We caught them on the way home from a three-family vacation. We have six adults and eight children under five years old. Especially with children, it's really hard because getting through the security lines, it takes a lot to take off the babies and put the strollers through, and it's, it's very hectic. They say the real challenge was getting here from New York. It's pretty bad in the New York airports. So. <laughs> yeah, Newark airport. Yeah, Newark airport. You can either zoom right in quickly or you could be hours waiting. Everyone we spoke to said there's only one way to be sure you can make your flight on time. Get to the airport early. Just get here a little bit earlier. Leave early and make sure that you're prepared because if you get there last minute then it's just going to be so difficult to get through the lines. And while many travelers would love shorter lines, most just want to know they're safe. And the TSA tells us that the resources will go to larger airports first and that Charleston may only see additional officers if the numbers here continue to grow. One thing they say will increase are the number of overtime hours that they allow their officers to work. Reporting at the Charleston International Airport, I'm Colby Thielen, News 2.